Okay. So hello everyone. My name is Man Ling Jiang. Uh, I'm studying for a master's degree at the Housing Agricultural Campus. My project is about the feed morphology and its relationship to skin blemishes in dark red northern. And my supervisor is Dr. Ge Fu Wang Pruski. So Canada is a big potato producing country, which produced more than 5 million tons of tubers in 2019. Most of the tubers were produced for processing, such as French fries, potato chips, and so on. However, fresh table tubers still took up around 21% of Canadian potato market. And Canada ranked as the sixth biggest fresh table tuber exporter in the world in 2019. This picture shows the dark red northern tubers harvested by peak of the market, which is a famous fresh table potato supplier in Manitoba, Canada. Manitoba is also the second largest potato producing province in Canada. Our project is funded by peak of the market and is mainly studying the skin defects on dark red northern tubers. So normally, dark red northern tubers have smooth red skin, which is what we expected. However, some blemishes were found on tubers that can badly influence the appearance. So this picture shows the surface cracking. Surface cracking is observed as shallow, crocky cracks on the tuber skin, normally presenting as rough, latticed area of tuber skin. This picture shows silver patch, which is a defect that appears as silvery smooth patches on the tuber skin. The last one shows rusty, which presents as protruding dark brown patches on the surface of the tuber. So far, we do not know the exact cause and the contributing factors leading to these defects. We have a three-year field trail set by peak of the market in Manitoba in 2019, 2020, and 2021. Water regime and heat stress are two concerned factors. And here are our eight treatments in total for the field trail. Half of the plots are rain fed and the other half are irrigated. We apply heat stress in tuber initiation stage, tuber bucking stage, and tuber skin set stage, which it can be also called the maturation stage, for five days in different treatments. And we also have control group without heat stress. Field trial data have been collected for 20, 2019 and 2020, such as tuber yield, tuber skin defects and the tuber skin color grading in different size groups. So after harvesting, samples from each plot are sent to Dr. Gefu Wang Pruski's lab for the further analysis, such as silvering analysis, total phenolic and anthocyanin measurements, inheritance analysis, and so on. This picture was taken when I did silvering analysis for tuber skin areas. Only silverized filament cells can be observed after staining process under the fluorescence. This experiment is to observe if the silverized cell layers are different in skins with and without defects. The number of silverized cell layer and its thickness are recorded. This picture shows four darker colored tubers and four lighter colored tubers selected from one plot. Skin samples of normal surface cracking, silver patch, and russeting were collected from eight tubers like this in each plot for the total phenolics and the anthocyanins evaluations. Greenhouse experiment is set for inheritance analysis of tuber defects in order to compare the ne next generations to and, uh, the, and our samples. 
This table shows part of the field trail results in 2019. We can see that overall, there were more surface cracking and the silver patch defected tubers. Irrigation did help in reducing the surface cracking defect on tubers. This table shows some results in silvering analysis in 2019. So we have 29 good skinned samples were selected from all the treatments. More silverized cell layers were found in rain fed plots, which are treatment one to four. Samples from rain fed no stress treatment had the most silverized cell layers among the, among the eight treatments. In conclusion, this project helps us better understand the tuber skin defects, particularly for dark red northern cultivar, and the outcome will help farmers to improve dark red northern tuber quality and uh, reduce economic losses in the fresh market resulting from these defects. So that's all for my presentation today. Thank you.